Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Damien. Thank you for stopping by my channel, checking out my video. I wanted to share some thoughts and opinions on Oliver and Felicity and also Ray Palmer and Felicity, which in my opinion has become a pretty interesting relationship on, on Arrow Season 3. So I saw a lot of comments on my last scenes for Arrow, both the Ray Palmer Adam suit video and also the scenes between Ray Palmer and Felicity. A lot of people who are Oliver and Felicity fans just weren't happy, I guess. Maybe they're just not happy in general in the past few weeks, but there really hasn't been any Oliver and Felicity scenes at all, actually. There really is just nothing going on between the two of them right now. They're at that point where there's just a lot of tension, a lot of things that need to be said and things that people just, no one wants to get into. People just feel uncomfortable saying it, I guess. You know, that they're kind of at that state. And I really can't say I'm surprised. I mean, it just couldn't be that easy. I feel like a lot of people maybe thought Oliver and Felicity done. Season three, they're together, it's over. But this is just not a, it's not a romance TV show. It's just very different. And you have to look at where Oliver Queen is at. He just isn't a character that really gets romantically involved for too long. It's just not realistically possible for a character like his to really entertain that idea. It's, and Arrow has been pulling a lot from, from Batman this season. And if you look at Bruce Wayne's storyline, it's the same type of concept. He really doesn't get romantically involved with other characters. Yes, he's had girlfriends. Yes, he has kids, depending on which storyline you're pulling from. But ultimately, at the end of the day, he never really had that epic love that maybe like Clark and Lois had. He has definitely had some, some relationships that are really great, but nothing on that level. And the same thing applies here for Oliver and Felicity. I said it before, and I'll say it again, as great as as great as Felicity is for Oliver, as, and she really brings that balance to him. She keeps his human side there and his humanity and all of that, and just his hope of being a normal person. He's not going to be normal, and he ultimately has a very rough road ahead of him before he officially becomes the Green Arrow. And I really don't see any true place for Felicity in that world. He's just a very different person. He's the Green Arrow has always been a darker character, and Felicity is just very different. Now, of course, they could definitely be together, but I really just never saw the necessity of the two of them being together. It's for me when I watch Arrow, what I'm really looking for is the is the journey of him being Green Arrow and being all that he can be. So I would much rather see a lot of episodes where. He's training and pushing himself to the limit to be even better than he is, rather than a bunch of like relationship-based scenes with Felicity, because ultimately him and Black Canary, Laurel Lance, not necessarily will be together, but they are connected all the way through the entire Green Arrow storyline. His history, all of it revolves, or they kind of synergize well together. They've always been linked together, whether romantically or not, they're always there. So, I look to see some scenes between Laurel and and Oliver in in season three, at least the rest of season three, and then coming up in season four as well. And as far as Ray Palmer and Felicity goes, I will say I was really surprised, and it's one of those relationships where you know it's going to end. I've mentioned this before with other relationships on shows when they do this, because when they when they start something like this, you know it's probably not going to work out because ultimately the character is just guest starring for so so many episodes and then after that he's gone. If you guys didn't know, they're actually in talks right now to do a spin-off for Ray Palmer, which I don't think would be very good. I'm not going to lie, it's just not I don't think it's going to be very appealing. Not that they can't create a good show, just that the Adam character has never really been that popular for me to say, "Okay, I need to watch this." Spinning off with The Flash is totally different than spinning off with someone like Adam. It's a lot easier to sell one of the core and founding members of the Justice League, like The Flash, Barry Allen especially, who is really, really popular, than someone like Ray Palmer. So, I've 
but getting back, you know, I've really enjoyed their scenes together, and I haven't really seen them on a date, officially, I guess. I mean, they've had little moments, but they really need to go on a date at this point. And I know a lot of people were upset that that they they had sex at the end of that last episode. They slept together. You know, it's not... It's just not that big a deal, because ultimately, where the character is... Ray Palmer doesn't know that she has any feelings for Green Arrow, or, or Oliver Queen, rather. So, as far as he's concerned, he's the only one, and... She never really mentioned any other guy because she's kept that part of her life separate from from him. Ultimately, he will find out, of course, but she's never mentioned that to him, and her and Oliver aren't on terms right now. They aren't on... They're not talking, really. They, they have a business relationship because they ultimately are trying to defend the city, and she helps them with that, but they've actually gotten to this point. It's actually amazing when you think about it because when you look at where Season 3 started him asking her to go to dinner and him kissing her and stuff like that to where they are now where she says I don't want to be a woman that you love that's that's pretty drastic it's amazing how just you can have so many good moments right you can have all of these things that make you love somebody but then one thing changes everything and that's I can't really say one thing with Oliver in general maybe one thing would apply but with him it was a couple of things but he has just become in her eyes, someone that she just can't really, she just probably can't even imagine that she has feelings for this guy anymore at this point. And it's the same thing like Laurel. She said the same thing. She said she can't believe at one point she was ever in love with Oliver. You know, ultimately the the character of of the hero usually has to has to be alone. That's it's just the way it's always been written. A lot of times they always feel they have to be alone, and then they will come to terms with the fact that maybe they can have someone. So right now, you know, if you're an Oliver and Felicity fan, I, w I wouldn't be too upset. I mean, maybe if you are not into Ray Palmer, I guess it's a big deal. But really, it's not that bad because you know we're only in season three and we've got at least two more seasons, at least. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. But Oliver and Felicity, they've always been great together. I have no issue with them together. But I, me personally, I've never believed that they would, they would be endgame. But we will see what happens. And... Right now, I'm honestly disappointed that there's not more scenes every week between the two of them, but all we get right now are some Team Arrow conversations where they're involved. There's really nothing else. She's keeping her distance, and it's interesting because she hasn't even told Oliver that she's with Ray Palmer yet. He hasn't. He has no idea. So it's uh, it's been pretty interesting so far. It's amazing how 15 episodes, so much can happen between Ra's al Ghul and Oliver dying and all of this stuff, the Flash crossover. This season has been really, really good for Arrow, and I hope they I hope they continue their momentum. So I know some people aren't a big fan of the fact they're pulling a lot from Batman. It's, it's what it is. I mean, he is a second-rate Batman in many ways, and he's always been considered discount Batman, but... It's it's really good. I still I still enjoy Arrow and I love I love the I love the scenes. I love all of the storylines they're doing right now. I can't wait for more, especially the the All Star team up with all of them. That should be really good. So let me know what you guys think. If you are a fan of Ray Palmer and Felicity, let me know why. I really enjoy their scenes as well, and they've had a lot of scenes, really more than Oliver and Felicity have, as far as something where it's personal or you know private scene romantic related they've just they've had a lot of scenes and it's really been great so let me know what you guys think and i will see you guys tomorrow i think since there's there's no arrow tomorrow and there's no flash tonight i think i might actually do a video tomorrow talking about barry and iris so look for that and then next week my reviews will start again for all the shows when they come back so i'll see you guys later my name is damien